Jump King by Nexiel is a challenging and unique platformer that very much puts itself in the so-called rage category alongside things like Getting Over It, Only Up, and even a bunch of Dreams titles. You control the titular King of Jumps as they embark on a journey upwards to try and find some smoking hot babe at the top of a tower, and you do so using only the left analogue stick and the X button, but not in the way that you'd expect. You can't run and can only jump, and you charge these jumps and their length by holding down X, and it's really all about the perfect execution of your muscle memory and just one false move can have you fall a long way in a quite frankly very demotivating manner. For those who love a challenge, the brutal difficulty and tight design is such a rewarding experience, but I do see how it could be off-putting for a more casual gamer, although I'd suggest they maybe do view it as some sort of interactive art installation of sorts and still have the experience. Because also, lately, I've been reading the book Reality is Broken by Jane McGonagall, and I think that there are elements of that which totally tie into this game. The book is about how video games can make us better and change the world in a positive way by giving a sense of purpose, community, and achievement that's often missing in the real world. And video games are very exact, right? If you press the right buttons at the right times, then you get rewarded. In life, sometimes you can metaphorically push those right buttons and still ultimately not have things work out, right? It's all about a lack of control. When all that a person has to blame is themselves, then that's fine. It's their own fault, and there is justice in the world of a video game in that respect. Each jump, no matter how small, feels like a significant achievement while giving a sense of epic meaning and optimism. The community around Jump King is also a testament to the social fabric that games can create as players share tips, celebrate victories together, and even commiserate each other over failures, forming a tight knit bond. Reality is Broken by Jane McGonagall goes into a lot of other things as well, and ultimately I'd recommend it as an interesting piece of writing on the psychology of gaming, but I just found it a nice parallel to be reading it while also playing Jump King and seeing those links. As much as I would recommend the book, I would also recommend Jump King, and you can regularly pick it up in a PSN or Steam sale for just about £4. And if you like Jump King, then I'd also really like to recommend Temple Guy, Quest for the Chest. It was initially developed in Dreams on PS4, and it can still be played there, but also it's now available on Steam as well, and it's a lovely little unique Jump King-like, with some new mechanics and a few twists and turns along the way as well. It's really totally worth your time, and it's always great to support indie artists. Have fun.